Ladies and gentlemen, we have two individual uh, presentations uh, to be made at the end of this, our first season of the National Basketball League. And the first one is the Umbro Award for Highest Scorer in the League. And this has been won by Cal Bruton of the Brisbane Bullets. Just, just for your information, Cal averaged 32.8 points per game uh, for a total of 592 points and his highest score was uh, 53 points in one game. <laughs> the second award is the Macaza Award for the Most Valuable Player. And this has been won uh, by Ken Richardson of the West Adelaide Bearcats. And let's run on every chance we get. Quick instructions. <laughs> yes, I missed that, Dick. <laughs> you guys have got to go out and win, let's do go hard and let's that go. It. That's it. Well, I, I think really well, what else that, could you uh, say? As far as this stage of the game, I think Brian is just trying to reinforce the things that they've been doing. They don't need to change anything except perhaps to try to get a little bit more aggression into their defense. Offensively, get the running game going. Keep Larry on the boards, back him up rebounding and break as fast as you can. Run Canberra into the game. Now, Canberra have to be a little bit more subtle about the way that they play. Cannons have their own cheer squad, but the Saints win the tap. I don't think I've seen Larry Sinstock lose a tap in about two years. He's got really good timing on the These jump first ball. two minutes of the second half are very, very important. Switch defensive assignments. Uh, McKeachin on Breeny. He's got Jerry Lee guarding Barnett. Oh, that's a big basket. Six points that takes it eight. Stamp to McKeachin. Nice pass. Oh, sensational yeah. stuff that. He was under pressure all the way there, but he kept cool. The old jump hook. I don't think. Well. I don't think Herb knows anything but cool. <laughs> Larry and Cal Stamp pushing and shoving inside. Good help defensively. Larry still got through. That is it. He Boy, shot a that strong, basket. That was His head and shoulders were behind the backboard. Yeah. And the back. Stamp and working on Manson. That's what you say in your face, Ian. Job done. Tony Barnett, St. Kill again. We've got a ball game on our hands here, Bill. It's uh, one point the difference. Larry Sengstock coming back fresh. Exactly five minutes to play. Three points the difference. St. Kilda Pumas leading the Canberra Cannons in the final of the National Invitational Basketball League. Sudden death final. Cal Stamp. Yes. Recovery. Just not giving up. Working hard there now. Get your hands up. You got to guard the passing lanes. But Jerry. Good, Good hands. Luck. Great pluck. Tony Barnett. All right. Psychologically, that could be it. Could matter now. Well, we couldn't have wished for a better final, Bill. It's a, a tremendous climax to a good season for the National League. It's going to be interesting now to see the tactics of the game. Canberra have done very well since the five-minute mark of the second half. They've steadily worked at their offense, got a good percentage, and increased the pressure of their defense. And now under crisis, they can go to Cal Stamp or Herb McKeachin inside. We'll see what's the kill one. Oh, long shot there. Big basket, Peter Minholz. Good under pressure. Under two minutes. Carter, they're looking to give the ball inside the stamp. Peter Biddles, oh, no, Tony Barnett gets it deep and throw it away. Biddles on a good steal. Ellis inside, inside and stamp. Great basket, big basket. Then stock out high underneath the Biddles. Biddles inside. Whoa! Oh, McKeachin, sky right high. Camera coming out with the ball, Ellis. <laughs> oh, oh, McKeachin, he got it wings on that one. Boy, he was going to block that. Tremendous effort. 
89 all with one minute remaining. Inside the stamp again. Larry got his hands on the ball. Inside. Up strong. And a foul. And a foul. And a foul called as well. Oh, what? Three point play. The big cow stamp. Oh, that was uh, a fantastic effort by Stamp inside there, right in the forest. They threaded the needle on the pass. He went up strongly, caught the basket and the foul. Fifth. Very big play. 59 seconds left. The Canberra fans. It's a lob pass. And a bit excited. Now good. Got it Anderson. back again. Steve Breen on the steal. The ball. Steve Breen. Larry Sainz off. Yeah. So tied up by the foul. And All a right, foul. Larry. Larry returns the compliment at the other end. Now he must if he has a chance to give the uh, Pumas the one point lead. What, what a guy. What a cold transition. What a guy. Well, now, free throws could win it. Cal Stamp had the chance to make a three-point play. Blew the foul shot. Now, Larry Sengstock on a similar play goes to the line. Can he put St. Kilda one point ahead? It's all tied up. Pressure. It's in. All right. St. Kilda should be harassing them up the court to slow down their offense. Kurt McKeachin controlling the ball. Pressure on McKeachin out the front. Probably time for one more shot each. Take him inside. Jim cut under pressure. He'll try and throw a lob pass to McKeachin. It's going to go either inside to Stamp or to McKeachin, I'd say. All right. Oh, crossed over dribble there. Violation. Steve Breen, he kicked it outside. Still 32 seconds left, so Canberra has to take a 30 shot. 30-second play. They've got to hold it for one shot, and then some killed him. Might not have the time to get another one. I think they'll take the first opportunity, though. McKeachin looks Keechin. dangerous. Ellis. Ellis. It's high. It's yes. Yes. Big basket, St. Kilda. 20 seconds remaining. Canberra one up, 20 seconds, 18 seconds to go. Tony Barnett. Let's look Steve at the Brady. clock. We'll keep the clock going for you. Robbie Kinney. Tony Barnett. Robbie Kinney. Six, Six seconds. seconds. Pass. Big Two points, one point, one second. There, second. Yeah, all right. Peter Vitals. All right. Wow, what a finish. What a finish. What a fantastic game fantastic of basketball. Fantastic finish. A great game. Boy, you could not have wanted better than that for a I final like, of the first National League. I like the script writer who wrote that one. How we? Well, how about that pass Peter underneath Vidal. the middle? Didn't that take Incredible some Incredible pass by Robbie Kinney. Great Peter pass Vidal. under pressure. You couldn't. You couldn't criticize the defense of Canberra there. They had everyone covered. There was nothing to spare at all. Fiddles was the only man you could see. That's right. Robbie Kennedy found him and he put it in. A great finish. Howie. Drew Morford uh, just about to grab hold of Brian Curl. All right, Brian. What an exciting finish. A yeah, great finish, Brian. <laughs> oh, you know, it's just too much. I I'm really pleased for the fellas in the club because, you know, in the league that has finished up this way. I'm, I'm glad that we won, but it's a great game. And, you know, I hope the people enjoyed it. I hope the people from Australia enjoyed it. Well, it's got to be the greatest advertisement for basketball of all time. What an atmosphere. It's fantastic atmosphere. You know, and I, I'd like to thank all our supporters for coming out and supporting our club. You know, and that's why we wanted to play in Melbourne because we thought we owed it to them. And, and I'd like to thank my guys because, you know, they're one hell of a team and they did one hell of a job today. And, you know, I'd like to thank, you know, everybody, the, the TV, and uh, I'd like to say hello to all my family and people in Queensland that have been watching the game as well. It's great. Are you pleased that uh, St Kilda went into the National League? Oh, <laughs> am I pleased? You know, I, I think it's the greatest thing for basketball, this league, and, and, you know, I just hope it gets bigger and it grows next year, which I think it will, and I hope everybody throughout Australia really gets behind it more so than they have this year because I think it's just the number one, you know, event, you know. And, Oh, you know. Good on you, Brian. Well, we'll let you go back and celebrate. Congratulations.